Game of the Year is a title earned by only of those of exceptional quality, but that tends to be of the AAA caliber. AAA studios have a vast amount of resources, budgets, and exceptional talent at their disposal that make them the prime candidate for these kind of awards. But there have been some exceptions. For example, the game It Takes Two by Hazelight Studios won Game of the Year in 2021. Now recently, Agro Crab, a small indie company of about 12 employees, has released their own game, Another Crab's Treasure. And let me tell you, this game is a banger. Another Crab's Treasure has flipped the genre of Souls-like on its head, where normally the Souls-like games are dark, brutal games that have a barrier to entry. Another Crab's Treasure is a light-hearted, comedically written Souls-like in a colorful world that makes the Souls-like genre accessible to everyone. Their accessibility settings help you ease into the genre if it's your first time with Souls games. It allows you to pick from three different settings, the default setting which is hard, an easier setting, and then a story only setting. Besides difficulty, the game is designed to slowly introduce core mechanics of the Soul series through a skill tree having the player learn the basics first, then unlock these advanced mechanics through gameplay. At first, this was one of my main complaints with Another Crab's Treasure, that the combat core mechanics weren't available from the start, that you did have to earn them through gameplay. But as it took a step back to really analyze what Another Crab's Treasure was trying to do as a whole, I realized that Another Crab's Treasure is trying to convert casual gamers into Souls fans. Now that's a very noble cause, and that's one of the reasons why I believe that this game uh, should be in the running for getting the year because that's a monumental task that it's trying to accomplish but it does so brilliantly by this system that it has where you slowly and gradually upgrade your skills and you upgrade the amount of layers of combat you get so for example you start off with a simple dodge but then you can add a parry system then you can add repost then you can add executions and the list goes on as Souls veterans like myself, we're already used to all these types of combat mechanics, so we expect them in Souls games and Souls-like games. But for somebody that is completely new to the series, trying out a Souls-like for the very first time is very refreshing to have them be pieced out like this so they can accumulate to the current combat system they have and then gradually make it more complicated as the game goes on, beyond just focusing on accessibility. Another Crab's Treasure takes an eco-responsible approach, vividly illustrating how human pollution disrupts the delicate balance of the ocean's wildlife. It achieves this by masterfully by weaving these environmental themes into the narrative. For example, Another Crab's Treasure's ocean life developed an economy around the ocean's trash. The sea creatures unknowingly revere a colossal trash island, and they look forward to the day that the trash rains down onto their city oblivious to the fact that this same trash that they revere is what's causing the decay of their society. Now normally I wouldn't be a fan of this type of messaging in video games because the way other companies do it or other developers do it, it just seems kind of preachy and kind of pushy and it's not really done very well but AgroCrab has done this masterfully by enveloping all these elements into the narrative of the game and the core elements of gameplay having you have to use the trash itself for defense using it as a shell or having the trash be the buildings and stuff like that so it's never like a pushy subject on you but you can obviously see its effects it's having on the wildlife and how instead of being normal kinds of fish you know they rely too much on the trash and you know you'll see the decay of their society and eventually poisoning their minds and they start to go feral another crab's treasure can be classified as a linear rpg with inspirations from the soul series with some platforming elements. Gameplay wise, the combat is smooth, exciting, and at times challenging. For veteran Souls fans like myself, you may find that this game is on the easier side of things. All of the major staples from the Souls games can be found, like bonfires, rest points, souls, currency to level up, in this case microplastics, dropping your souls upon death with a chance to reclaim them, but there is an option in this game to turn off this feature if you find it too punishing, and bosses that will challenge you. I believe that Another Crab's Treasure is the perfect game to bridge the gap for players that have found the souls games to be intimidating. Its amazing storytelling coupled with its eco-friendly messaging makes this one of the best games that I have played in 2024. Now we are only halfway through the year so it might be too early to tell but what I can say is for myself Another Crab's Treasure is worthy of Game of the Year. Now if you want to know more about the specifics of the gameplay of Another Crab's Treasure I urge you to check out this video I have made earlier 
my first impressions on the game where I go into detail about the game mechanics of Another Crab's Treasure. I hope you found this video helpful and when the time comes, if there is voting for Another Crab's Treasure, I hope you do vote for this game to be Game of the Year or at least Indie Game of the Year. I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one.